Hello and welcome from St Lawrence Jewry Church. My sermon this week is a day late. Uh, it was a strange day here yesterday at uh, Guildhall Yard. From about 8.30 onwards there were children playing on the yard. Um, three different sets of families turned up for birthday parties and they were singing happy birthday and the children were running around and screaming and it was far too noisy to try and record anything. By the end of the afternoon, a group of art students turned up with a radio and decided to have a dance festival on the yard. So by that stage, I gave up the will to try and record a sermon. So here we are on Monday morning, trying to actually catch up with my weekly sermon. One of the two Bible passages for this week is from Romans chapter 6. Go and have a read of Romans chapter 6. It's an amazing passage. It uses all sorts of Bible language about sin and righteousness, about slavery and freedom. But ultimately, it ends up talking about sin. The wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life. In our sort of sanitised version of Christianity in the 21st century, we get a bit squeamish about the idea of sin. But, as I have often said in the past and will no doubt say again, if we don't understand sin, we don't understand Jesus. It's, as one of my livery companies, the entrepreneurs, might say, if there isn't a problem, you don't need a solution. We do have a problem. We don't live as God wants us to. We sin. We live our lives focused on our own needs rather than on our desire to serve God. That brings with it a penalty. And it's only because of our sin that we need salvation. Otherwise, Jesus' death and resurrection would be pointless. The wages of sin is death. The gift of God is eternal life. As we continue through this lockdown period, as people begin to relax and enjoy themselves again as family and friends, as we make contact with people who perhaps we haven't been in touch with for some time, we are also reminded that we need to make contact with God. We need to make contact with our Heavenly Father through his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. As his gift to us, we are granted the gift of eternal life, through his death and resurrection. And my prayer for you this week is that you would know that in your heart. Amen.